When he had said this, Jesus called with a loud voice. Wait a minute, loud voice? Come on. Because y'all thought we were supposed to be quiet in church. Did y'all get that? Did y'all see that? Right, so you skip the part. <laughs> when he had said this, Jesus called with a loud voice. Loud voice! Come out. So you didn't know Jesus preached loud, but there you go, just said it. Jesus called on the loud voice, loud voice, come out. The dead man came out. His hands and feet wrapped with strips around him, with linen, and a cloth around his face. So his whole body was wrapped at his face, he couldn't even see. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Yeah, man, I want to preach tonight the great thing. Because we serve God and we're giving no business, he's giving no grave and resurrected. He ain't scared of nothing. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Christian, you ready? Man, Chris, I just don't have to fellowship with you. You're a good guy. I ain't even know that. I'm just being honest. But I enjoy that. And it was even awesome. It was truly really amazing. And I love it. Father, have your way. Y'all stand with me. Have your way, God. Yes. We look tired tonight, God. We look exhausted this morning. But you ain't never tired. In your word, God, it says you never sleep. And you never sleep. So, God, we're not weak right now. We're weak. Give us your strength. Supernatural power. Let me tell you something. I don't need to feel God to know that He's real. 
Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And some of y'all, the reason you never feel God is you ain't walking with him long enough. If you walk with God long enough, you will start to feel it. You don't get results the first time you go to the gym, but you're still going back. Right. You ain't gonna get no muscles, muscles the first month, the second month, not the third month. You might get like almost the muscles if right. you can stop going to Burger King and Guppies. <laughs> but you're cool with not getting results from Burger King, from uh, the gym. But when it comes to God, you need to feel it on the first time. Let me tell you this if you will keep going to church, you might not feel it on the first time. You might not feel it on the second time. You might not feel it on the third time or the fourth time or the fifth time. But if you keep pulling around with God. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. If you keep on trying, God, I'm telling you, sooner or later, the Holy Ghost will get hold of you. Because you're going to get it on the power of God and not experience it. You might not feel it right now, but if you stay here for a minute, you can sit on you. I'm telling you, this is the glory of God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
all right. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you. 
Come on. I'm 
So the Jewish custom, this is the Jewish custom, if I want to answer my points, the Jewish custom was when a person died, they buried him on the first day. And they believe that the soul stayed in the body for many days. So in order for the soul not to be confused on where it belongs, they would bury it on the first day. So they believe that they left the body out, it would go back and forth because it was confused. Right. So they buried it on the first day. So the soul was going to be confused. So they are buried in the dreams. Right. Because you don't want to be confused anymore. Right. All of them. Like, what do you believe in heaven? The next day you don't. Right. So if you give yourself peace, you bury it. Right. God told me to tell you to get it back out the way. Right. 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 Yeah. No, no. Right. Right. 
Right. If he wouldn't really offend you, I could call right. him. Right. 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 Because right. I'm dreaming in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I'm yeah. Walking in the Holy Ghost. And there's a great assignment yeah. in your life. And yeah, God yeah. Said, I want you to dream bigger. Yes. Lift up your hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You ain't dreaming big enough. He said, what you dream, you can do it in your own strength. Right. And that's why it happened. Yeah. I need you to dream for the supernatural. I need you to dream for the impossible, for the intangible, for the miraculous, for the Holy Ghost to move from the top. Yeah. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
We submit ourselves to you, God. We humble ourselves before you, Lord God. And as we go out, Lord God, we go out in unity, God. We go out as one mind, one heart, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, doing what you will for us to do, Lord God. We ask you to come, Lord God, in the in the services, Father God, in every meeting, every gathering, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, even for the children, God, that they will be obedient, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will be obedient unto you, Lord God, even as we go forth, Lord God. Give us what to say. Give us what to do. Lead us and guide us. Alright, just sharing a little bit of footage from Van One up here. Playing our spa with the chilling.